able to partner with you know an organization that is obviously having such an incredible impact in these villages where people have so little um, and then to see where their source of, of any type of water comes from and now the transformation by having a clean water well and by you know ability to go and assist them and, and bring a sport component to that has been has been really fun and I think really been impactful for the players and the athletes that we brought with us to see you know a different part of the world and what the world um, is really like and yet how they can engage in some really cool community events and, and build some friendships and just kind of open up the doors for uh, for gain that's doing such great work here in the, in the country. We've been talking about what it looks like to build a water well for a while but actually seeing the process of it and how difficult it really is to actually just go and get one bucket of water it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty eye-opening to see. A simple jug of water, they're saying thank you Jesus for water and just being able to kind of see how much yeah, they rely every day on something greater than themselves for just their health and for their water and for their food and just seeing how prevalent like religion is here is, is pretty cool to yeah, take that home and realize that our little needs that are so easily accessible also be thanking Jesus for those. Yeah, well, there's no doubt that the strategy of, you know, digging a water well and providing you know, clean, I think they use the phrase disease-free water, um, as a starting point. Uh, bringing a, a sport component has obviously been a great rallying point for engaging kids. Um, you know, having them do uh, a whole bunch of other strategies like um, education for mothers and nutritional education, um, connecting with churches that are... are you know, trying to impact the neighborhood. It's been a, it's been a really eye-opening experience to just see how we could kind of fit into their strategy and, and maybe just enhance it a little bit. It was really cool just to be doing the work that these ladies would do on a regular basis. And um, it was just, yeah, it was a good time to just even chat. And I really appreciate um, whenever they work, they do it as like together as a community. And so, there's five of these women like doing their work together and it was cool to kind of just like be in that experience. We've noticed that the team was really involved in a lot of activities that we do in Benin and they show love to people. So I would like to say that this has a big impact on my own life and on our team. So we really love, you know, these guys' arrival in Benin and, you know, their presence had a big impact on our people. had about like five soccer balls and instantly when you bring them out you have about 40 kids come to you and then they're so happy just to kick it you roll it to them and they'll play for so long like you get so tired by the end of the day so something like a soccer ball can connect you with people it can build friendships and it can basically show you that the love that other people have for you God and the game. Sport is just like such an amazing way to be able to share the gospel with people and it's through the same love of sport that after the game when we've built a connection with them where you can easily like share our faith and so I think it's just like such a good way for us to interact with them instead of just coming in and talking we can 
play the game and then after that, um, share the gospel with them. There's people surrounding, people enjoying it. As the game got on, like so many more people came around and were just like supporting and it was a great feel in the community. The time out on the streets in, in Benin has been, you know, nothing but special. I think for our, our players to see, wow, it's just a simple game, small makeshift goals, um, playing on a dusty road, um, and yet it's the same language and everybody loves it and it drew a crowd and before you know it, we're, we're building into the community and so I think our players have all seen evidence of how powerful sport can be used as a tool to impact lives. The town of Belembu is a place of hope and a place that has children that have come from tragic situations but come here with a hope to restore their lives and the vision that the people that have worked here and have had this vision um, want to not only save those children from that challenging life but also to restore them to build them into leaders for this country. And, the part that inspires me is these children are doing that. They've restored a town and their hope is to now transform a nation. And you can see that by not just providing for their needs of, of water and food and clothes, but really their education um, and their passion for their, their culture and um, their dreams to have a future and to be doctors and to be nurses and to be teachers rather than just to have their lives saved. There's just such a presence of God and such a a love for the city of Belembu as well as um, just Swaziland as a nation and these um, these kids come in and um, there's just such a community and yeah just a presence of God which has um, been cool to see. God's given us that gift to play and have joy through that. Um, yeah even from kids all the way up to older people um, it just brings such a joy um, when people get to kick around a ball and kind of it, it unites people together and um, obviously it's uh, kind of transformed cities and transforms nations so um, yeah I really believe that sport can be a common language for everyone. It's really hard to you know where they come from and like what kind of background they have growing up but it's great to see how positive they are about their life and how they make the best of it and they just try to live life to the fullest. You know, the kids feel like we care, the kids feel valued, the opportunities that they've had to have some um, real soccer coaching, the opportunities they've had to have people who've come from across the world to love them and show them that they matter. So whether it's in a soccer drill, whether it's in a, attending a concert, whether it's visiting their dining hall, um, walking along the streets with them, just to see um, see the very presence of our team have an impact on the children and then therefore the teachers and the staff. It's been awesome. It's been really cool to see uh, the growth that's been going on within the team and really pushing these girls to understand more about poverty, um, their worldview, and I mean ultimately what does it mean to serve. People in Africa love soccer. So uh, to be able to have this sport, which is an informal and, and a fun uh, thing to get the people together, we've noticed in Bulembo it draws the people together from all different age groups. It um, is a perfect tool for the children in t teaching them critical life skills which, uh, and, and character. So whether it comes to discipline, whether it comes to good healthy habits, 
um, and it opens the mind and, and at that point to be able to speak into their lives from a spiritual perspective is phenomenal. Our girls have been able to impact this town by showing um, that women and that girls can have an opportunity to play sport, that it doesn't just have to be for boys. Um, just by even us playing the boys high school team, I think that it shows that we can play. It's not just you know something that we're given the opportunity for, but we actually have the capability of doing it. And I think showing that example and that role model to the younger girls gives them maybe a, a hope that they don't experience or see here. And then conversely, I think that these children have impacted our girls by seeing love and joy um, in the midst of lacking material things or, or maybe even family and realizing that there could be a deeper level of, of love in their lives and our girls opportunity to experience that and see that and have that change their own lives. And 